Hello again, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com in the garage. I was making needles a little while ago and decided to do a video on what is a textured needle. Okay, now that that's over, let's get into it. What's a textured needle? So, this is pretty simple. It's a needle that has some texture at the end of it. Anyways, there's two types of needles normally that you're going to get with tattooing. If you look at it microscopically at the tip here, we got two. One of them is rough, and the other one is polished. Simple. Why does this occur? Well, needle stock is just going to be like one long bar, right? And it goes through a machine, and it's ground down to create a tip, and then snipped on the back really, really quickly. So just like needle, 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 So when those needle tips are ground and not polished, that's where you end up with a textured needle. It's just rough finish. Polished needles are going to go through an extra layer, or an extra step here where they go in, they get ground, then they get polished, then they get cut. That's it. Pretty simple, hey? I know that that's probably not enough information for this short video. So let's just do a little bit more. Why? Why do I need a textured needle? Why do I need... A textured needle. So textured needles are great for a few things, right? One, some people really like them when they're running lines. Um, the texture on the end is supposed to, on a microscopic level, hold pigment in the tips of the needle. So if you're doing like ultra fine line stuff, you don't have to bury the needle as far into the skin, right? To make it stick. The idea is, is that it's actually gonna be depositing the pigment as it goes down, breaks the skin, and the pigment's going to just kind of like be collected into this. And as it pulls back, that, that skin just basically snaps back down, dragging it off the needle and deposits in there. So you don't have to go as far. So it's supposed to actually decrease trauma, even though most people would say like textured needles are scary. They rip the skin up. Yes. If you run a textured needle like a smooth, polished, finished needle, yes, it will totally rip up the skin. Polished needles work a little bit differently. They'll go into the skin, usually a little bit further past like the break point of the tip of the needle. And as the skin kind of settles around the needle, when it rips out really quickly, this is just why tattoo machines run quickly, the needle is actually gonna, um, sorry, the ink is gonna flow in down the needle through hydraulic motion and be absorbed into the skin that way. That's why we always have like that bead in front of the needle, like, you know, like when you're running it, is because there has to be a ready supply as the needle is moving forward for it to just kind of like be pulled down into it. So there's like two different ways of doing this, right? So polished needles can damage the skin just as much as a textured needle like supposedly could, depending on who you're talking to, right? Um, because as they enter the skin, especially if you're like moving maybe a little bit too slowly or something, they're just going to end up hamburgering the space that's going on. It's pretty funny. So like usually with polished needles, you've got to move fast. You have to have a fast hand to run these, right? Um, with textured needles, you actually have to move slower because if you move too fast in relation to how fast that like the machine is actually reciprocating up and down, you can end up getting snagged and stuck on the stuff and causing a ton of damage to the top layer of skin or the top layer of the dermis, which is really, really bad. At the same time, when you start damaging the skin very heavily because you're moving your hand too quickly, those textured bits at the end of the needle can end up clogging up with a lot of skin, dead skin or other fluids, exudate stuff like this. And it's not very good. So like... Yeah, it's just, most people prefer polished needles. It's just easier. It's not too much you have to think about. And it's, it's kind of like the easiest way for you to create a decent effect in any way inside of the tattoo uh, without having to worry too much about trauma. It doesn't, you don't have to pay as much attention to hand speed, your skin stretch, like how dirty everything is. You don't have to like really pay a lot of attention to constantly like wiping and cleaning and doing, you know what I mean? So texture needles are a little bit more advanced. And when you can use these like textured needles for color, in my opinion, are the best. Um, I prefer to use textured needles with, with any type of color packing, especially like tribal black. If I'm going to be doing like black work, anything like that, that's solid, saturated color. This stuff is where it's at in my mind. I can make a single pass on a tribal fill with a textured like, I don't know, nine mag, nine flat, something like that, and just absolutely pound that shit in and not stress the skin out so much that it like looks rough. Anyways. So what is a textured needle? One that's not polished. And why do I need a textured needle? 
Well, it depends. If you've got the skills and you want to do some really decent color packing, or you got maybe a slower hand and you want to try to work on your lining skills, textured may be the way to go. This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com, signing off. Thank you again.